Okay, expanding to this gold base. What a strange twist of fate. When I saw all those void rays, I thought that could potentially be game. And instead, they are going to come in here, the two injured void rays here, and try and force this base to cancel. Will the, the infestors are so slow? Will they get up there in time? The infestors turns aren't going to get out in time, and they they kill the hatchery. That is bad. Should have cancelled it, but did not want to delay the hatchery anymore. But of course, that delays the hatchery even more. Now, keeping these two queens with the army, along with an overseer, just in case of a DT switch. As we see. Mana has taken this watchtower, so he does know what's there. But this base should be defensible now. And if we look at the bank, both players around a very similar economy. Mana's being slightly higher until this gold base starts mining. But the void rays are coming in again. There are four void rays here, but he needs to be careful. These queens are here. Demaga needs to respond to this. He needs to be quicker about keeping an eye on that and responding to it. Needs to be very, very careful with how close that base is and how quickly he can retreat. But there are a lot of infestors. 13 infestors there, that's 15 infestors now. 8 broodlords here. <laughs> 7 queens! 7 queens now with this army. That is insane. These Void Rays again trying to move in and do some damage. Instead, just pulling him out of position. He's finally going to take this Watchtower back from Mana so that he can't just see what's going on whenever he feels like it. Mana, of course, has mined out these three bases. So Mana only has two and a bit mining bases left. Although that's hardly much of one. So really only two mining bases left. Which means he needs to make these one of these pushes work soon as he's not going to be able to replace units when he loses them anymore. This is again the very European style of playing where you push for, where you build up an army, you build up to 200 food but the Void Rays are moving in over here now! The Void Rays moving in over here, going to kill this Corruptor very very quickly and will now target down this lair. They're going to kill that, they are going to kill that in time, these Infestors are moving up. Does want to move away, does not want to get Neural Paras um fungled like that rather as the fungal keeps them there so they can drop more fungals on them I do not know why he's moving these roaches in that is not necessarily the best idea but they all go down now again killing those void rays off forcing him to produce more now while he can afford to produce more now he needs to be careful with that bank he cannot afford to lose void rays for no good reason like that. He didn't kill the lair. If he had, there's still a hive here. That was just a poor decision from Mana to attack there. As we see Demaga now has this gold base fully mining, but has mined out this base now, so he's going to have to be careful as gold bases mine out so, so quickly. This base now is nearly mined out, so this is going to be the last mining base of Demaga, so one of his attacks as well is going to have to do good, or he's going to have to yeah, that's it. There are going to be no more bases on this map. It does not matter if he comes out and takes this out, as this is more than halfway to mind out now. This is empty. So we are seeing the very end game of Mana versus Demaga now in this game one. As they are eventually going to run out of money and have to attack one another. This can get very, very interesting as it now becomes less about economy and much more about unit composition. And I could not tell you who has the better unit composition right now. Because these Void Rays are scary along with the Archons. Maybe not enough Stalkers in this army. Instead choosing to focus on the Zealots to tank the damage. I think it is very much going to come down to how quickly those Void Rays die. If Demaga can kill off the Void Rays and, oh my god, 12 Queens now. That is crazy. 12 Queens are going to kill those Void Rays so, so quickly. Although he's getting the Graviton Catapult. Isn't that a carrier upgrade? I am now confused. I do not even know where that's researched. Um, learning, 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 learning. Is it the robotic support bay? I have no idea where that's even researched. 
Stargate. It is the carrier upgrade because he is building carriers now. I've only just noticed that. I am insane. I am definitely not awake. Oh my god, we are seeing carriers. We are seeing air weapons level 2 upgrading. Now this is going to get interesting. Those carriers are so, so good. And it is going to be more than these queens can handle, I fear, for Demarga now. I fear that this is going to go 1 0 to mana on our first of their Assembly Cup series. But look at the spine crawlers being made. Oh my word, this is such a defensible position. Is pushing out with a few roaches now. But he's not going to be able to do anything much with them. Just using them to see what's going on. But he does not know that carriers are coming out now. Interceptors being built. Oh dear. I am excited for this. Zerg missile attacks level 2 being upgraded. Um, I assume that's for what few corruptors he has. As I believe the broodlords broodlings are ground attack. Interesting. Oh, perhaps... They count as air. Um, that's something I'm going to research before tomorrow. That's something I will need to look up. Look at this force of broodings now. 15 broodlords. 12 infestors. My maths is excellent. 12 queens. And everything is kind of slowly, slowly waiting now. As we wait to see who will make the first move. This is becoming so tense. Mana clearly waiting for his upgrades to finish before attacking along with the carriers. But Zerg Missile Attacks level 2 is going to be upgraded now. The Missile Attacks now. The Acid Spines, interesting, now at level 2. So will be doing a lot of damage to those carriers and the Void Rays that he has left. If we look here, we see the army nicely spread out, just in case of any surprise fungals. I like seeing that. There's still this one Colossus here. We have eight Void Rays, although one is horrendously damaged. We have six Archons on the field. We have 13 Stalkers. Six High Templar. And a million billion Zealots. Because I'm not counting all that. And again, all these uh, all these next I have full energy, so could, I assume he is uh, chrono boosting as much as possible the upgrades and the carriers. Let's just take a look. Yep, is chrono boosting those, but he just has so many next I that it doesn't matter. He just cannot chrono boost them fast enough. And now look at this. These are five carriers. Needs to make the interceptors for them so that they can be effective. But now perhaps Demaga is going to make his move. Everything in this game has stalled now. Demaga is not doing anything other than waiting. He is going to push forwards on this creep. I am not sure if this is a good idea. But if he can get in before air weapons level 3 finishes, perhaps that would be for the best. He's going to attack up into here instead. I do not know how much damage this is going to do. He does take down the Templar Archives. But Mana is not going to be building this stuff. Mana is focusing solely on building those carriers. And unless this does so much, unless he manages to kill off everything. And instead these carriers are going to come in now. He's going to lose these Broodlords if he's not careful. Infested Terrans being dropped now. And a huge, huge attack here. <coughs> Queens trying to fight off. Fungals going everywhere. Archons doing damage. High Templar with f feedback. Draining all the energy on the Queens. But more Fungals going down but these carriers tanking it so well. Oh my god. There is so much going on here I can barely see it. This Colossus finally dies. The hero Colossus of the day. One carrier now with 11 kills. 12 kills. 8 kills there, 5 kills there, 4 kills there, 6 kills. Killing so much, this carrier void ray force is insane. These brood lords can do nothing about it. These spine crawlers are no use against it. These spore crawlers cannot fight that many interceptors at once. 
Oh, this was a brilliant switch from Mana to switch into carriers. I figure this attack is the end of the game now. Forcing Demaga to stop mining there, although there is nothing left mineral-wise anyway. Demaga only has the 5,500 minerals he has banked to remake his army and kill everything that Mana has. And I don't think he can do it. It's 84 to 118 now. Trying to mass up the last of his forces here. Trying to build more spine crawlers to fight it off. Or spore crawlers rather. To fight off this air army. But it's not going to be enough. This greater spire is going to go down. The queen dies. All the bases now of Demaga are going to be destroyed. And this just feels insane. Manor is going to take this game with a huge carrier force. Carriers and void rays and stalkers. Oh my. Oh, what a brilliant tech switch. Demaga just was not ready to face that level of air. Not this level of carriers. He had enough to fight off the Void Rays yet again, but he did not have enough to fight off the carriers. Is now pulling back to link up with the Stalkers. Is going to come up here to destroy the last of this lava. Oh, what a brilliant move. Four queens being made now by Demaga to try and fight this force. But it is not going to be enough. Another evolution chamber going down. But it's too little, too late. Everything is mined out in Mana's base. So if he can destroy it, Mana cannot rebuild this force. So this attack needs to work for both players. Fungal's going down, but these carriers are just so well armoured and well shielded. They can tank those fungals all day. Everything here is dying for Demaga. And there's the GG! GG goes down for Demaga and Mana takes game one. Oh, I cannot believe that. What a game. Oh, Mana goes one game up in the Assembly Cup series between him and Demaga after 58 and a half minutes. Oh, my word. I am absolutely exhausted. There are still a potential four games left to go in this best of five series. Absolutely insane game. What a good map Metalopolis is. I hope the rest of the games we watch this week are of this kind of quality. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is five past ten my time, which means I have five minutes to wrap this up and start watching the GSL. Oh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, you can join us in the chat at irc.funetic.net hash gaming. Don't forget as well, you can send me your StarCraft 2 replays to voctagaming at gmail.com. Also, you can now join the Facebook fan page for Vokta Gaming. Go on Facebook and search for Vokta Gaming and you will find that sexy, sexy fan page. You can also subscribe to the channel. Um, our Eve Corp will be closing its doors to general recruitment very, very shortly. So if you are interested, look up Dath Mora, D-A-T-H-M-O-R-A. That is going to be it for today. I am done talking. What a game. Oh, I hope tomorrow's is as good as that. I will be back tomorrow with game two in the best of five Assembly Cup series between Mouse Manor and MTW Demaga. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.